This is one thing I wanted to ask you, Pete, because if you don't know about Pete Fox, he bets on everything. So let me ask you Just this. about. I, I'm trying to rack my brain mm -hmm. in the history of sports, team sports, where we've had a more anticipated matchup as this is the first time ever, remember this in NBA history, that the same two teams have faced each other in three consecutive NBA finals, which seems amazing, right? Even like yeah. Lakers, Celtics, never did it three years in a row. So this is the very first. But I'm trying to rack my brain on what has been this most anticipated finals matchup, one of all time, where one team is such a prohibitive favorite over another. In other words, the odds makers are saying Cleveland has no chance of winning this series. I saw 93% that Golden State would uh, win this series. And when you look at the betting line, minus 260 on Golden State. In other words, it's not what Vegas is trying to predict who's going to win. They got to put the bar at a level to yeah. actually get some Cleveland money coming in. So this idea that we have this, you know, rubber match, and this is one of the most anticipated finals matchup, According to the odds makers, this is a blowout series that we're well, going to be looking at. I mean, doesn't it feel like it could be higher than that? So two hundred and sixty dollars is what you need to wager in order to get a hundred. Right. To me, it feels like. I mean, that's for the whole series. Yeah, but that's Cleveland defending NBA right, champions, right. and they're healthier than they were again. Right. Kevin Love is playing much better. Obviously, LeBron at the top of the game. Why are they such a prohibitive dog? In this series. Well, I think the, the odds makers, generally speaking, get caught up in the moment. They're a prisoner of the moment as to what's happening right now. And the Warriors did not lose. First time ever. Cleveland has lost one game. Right? I know. Look, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just telling you as to what is what has helped the odds makers but come up with this number. the is Cleveland has no chance. I mean, they, they, no, one, no one believes Cleveland's going to win this series. Why? Uh, Kevin Durant. Last year, it took seven games, and Steph Curry wasn't 100%, and the Warriors were playing at not 100% through the entire series because of suspensions and other things like that. Draymond Green missed a game. So you put all those things together, I think it makes makes everybody feel that's putting together the odds that the Warriors are the team to beat. I, I, don't, I look at that number, and I think that's about right. I don't feel like it is as the prohibitive favorite as you do minus 260 that's a pretty substantial favorite right but it's not like it's five to one i mean that would be yeah but this is supposed to be if it was boston my point is let's say boston this, somehow got this by is them. a matchup that we've been waiting for all year long you know mm -hmm. this is the ultimate two super teams well, apparently there's one super team and then one not so super team well what do i you mean these are, i'll put it this way the, in no series has Golden State been a bigger favorite than they've been in the series? They what? were not this kind of favorite going into the San Antonio series until, of course, Kawhi Leonard went That's down. That's interesting. That's I a mean, good point. I don't bet on I'm, series, generally speaking. No, but I mean, the perception is, is that Cleveland is a vastly inferior team to Golden State, despite the fact yeah. the last three games in the NBA Finals they faced off, Cleveland came out victorious.